America. Welcome to a special episode of Across the Desk with Pastor Clock. I'm Pastor Clock, your Facebook pastor and your host. We have a special guest here today. I'm going to allow her to introduce herself. She'll do a better job at it than I can. <laughs> hello, hello. My name is Alondria McCoy. Hey, I, I am the writer and producer of the stage play First Lady. Um, from I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina, and I am visiting Pastor here in High Point this morning. And we thank you for being here, Alondria. I don't hope I pronounced your name right. Uh, um, just tell us a little bit about your play and how you got started doing these plays and what's, what's your purpose for the plays. And okay, the name of this play is um, First Lady. And First Lady is a true story about domestic violence and mental health. We actually target those areas in this show. Um, we actually also provide resources for those that may need. What we have found in going from city to city with this show um, when the show is over, we tend to have those that say, you know what, thank you for telling my story. But we had a question proposed to us, what are you going to do? You're going to come to the city, you're going to um, stir up the pot, and then leave the people. And we found that it's not, it's not right for us to do that. So what we do is we provide resources for those that may be in need. Um, those that can't come to their pastors and tell them what's going on. Uh, we love the church. Um, I'm a minister. I'm born and raised in the church. But we, sometimes the church is not as receptive. Um, sometimes there are things that's needed outside of the church, outside of the four walls. Um, therapists, counselors, those are things that are available um, for those who do not feel comfortable or may not attend the church. These um, resources are available, and we want them to know that, you know, you're not alone here. There are so many people that are going mm. through this. And if it's a true story for someone else, again, we've learned that it's a true story for more than just this one person. So it's nothing to be ashamed of. Um, we have a shirt that's that it says, it's your mouth. And it is, it's your mouth. It's not, in the show it's used in one context, but we use it in one context, but we use it as, it's your mouth. It's okay for you to talk about this. It's, go, it's okay for you to tell it. It's not gender. Um, it's not gender based. It it could happen to anyone. People think it's only women that, that are going through domestic <laughs> violence, and that's not true. Men are going through it as well. Um, we've been doing this. We've traveled with a lot of stage plays. Probably about twenty six years now. We've been in in the business of doing stage plays, but we do have a a, a reputable company, which is Alon Entertainment. You can look us up just to see what um, we do offer. Again, this is a true story, but we have classes. We have um, training um, classes that we provide. We have uh, talent mat we're under talent management. So there's a lot of things that we do that um, we provide as, as well. But again, this show is coming to High Point Theater on July 6th. Tickets can be purchased at highpointtheater.com or visit our Facebook page. Uh, a line entertainment all things a line entertainment you know you can reach out to us send us a message we'll be get back to you as soon as we can but again we want to see you there on July 9th because this is this is for everyone you it may not be you today but it could easily be you tomorrow that's true you know that's that's true I'll just listen as you was telling you about your play you know especially when you said the part about men mm -hmm. have been caught up in domestic violence we know of. I'm speaking from a man, never been in domestic violence, but I understand I have counseled a lot of brothers that have been a part of, and I'm gonna say this first though, domestic violence not only physical, it can be verbal as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. And then when you call someone out their name or call, and just talk bad to someone, that can be, that's, that can hurt more than actual physical violence. You know, we need this in ministry. I call that's this right. ministry. We need, we need this this much we need preaching. That's right. Jesus said, I can't do have life and have, I can't do have life and have life more abundantly. You want to teach us how to live. See, we're studying trying to learn how to have church. Mm -hmm. That's right. We should be learning that's how right. to live, that's how to right. live our life on this, on this side. And, and I thank God for this young lady to come in and sit down with me today and tell, talk to us about, um, the mess about it and finna put together a place coming to high point. You know, us church folk need to have fun sometimes. <laughs> we need right. to get out and have some good clean that's fun. Right. This is something you can go do and have, enjoy. Have some fun. Take significant other or whatever. Take, go out and enjoy this play, man. There's something good that's positive that's coming to high point. That's, that's right. great. High point is trying to grow and we need to grow with the place. It's and time. we don't know how we wound up in high point. I just think God sent us here, but we're ready. It's needed. We, we're, we're coming it's to, needed. to bring this message and, and, and as Pastor said, we don't 
Um, the Bible says compel them to come. And, and everybody that's, we're, we're, it's a lot of people that are ordained. I'm ordained. But you know what? I believe that ministry does not only lie in the church house. There's a lot of work to be done outside of the four walls. Who's going to do the work? We don't always have to stand in a pulpit. We, we, we don't. And I think that that's the misconception today when it comes to ministry, that it has to be done in a church, in a pulpit. But when I was growing up, we did street ministry. Uh, me too. That was we did tent, first, tent revivals. You had to. I mean, that was that was part of your call. Absolutely. Someone that you was called to do this. Do this thing. So a lot of us think we just want to put on a nice suit or the robe and sit behind the pulpit. That's not ministry, man. I mean, that's your comfort zone. But go out into the streets and to people's homes and meet people and see what people are really going through. That's right. That's, That's right. ministry. That's right. That's right. And so, I, I'm just, again, I say I, I'm just so grateful that she took the time out of business. Because I know she's busy, you know, and promote this play and then to come back and just tell us about the play on, on firsthand so we get a glimpse of what we're going to see. And I, I mean, and they are fun, a lot of fun going to plays. I mean, my we man, have, my wife, we we enjoy. We're going to be first row. We're going to be this, this one. And we we enjoy. have church, y'all. We have fun. We have church. We have, it's not a churchy, churchy play, it, although it is centered around the church because of, I'm telling someone's story here. But we have fun. The laughter that would flood your soul yes. if you would only attend. It is, we, ha we have a good time. And, you know, uh, the first thing that people say is, well, Tyler Perry, Tyler Perry. But if you like to laugh, if you like good singing, this is where you need to be. This is definitely where you need to be. It's the same caliber of a show. And I'm telling you, you will have a blast. We don't try to throw church. We're here to deal with issues. We're here to deal with the issue. Before I forget, I just want to put something in your hand from across the desk about the clock. We do this occasionally. You know, when, you, oh when you get to the big stage, remember that I did come and oh. say the clock in the little old podcast. Thank so, you. so I'm just remember you guys. Not much. This is a little, little love you. token. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And we, we I'm, I'm shocked, but I appreciate that. We, we're so used to giving. I mean, well, <laughs> we're so used to we're giving. We're the same kind because my wife and I, we give to it hurt. I mean, yeah. and we love it. Keep doing it and we love it. But that's that's what this is about, man. It's about, I, I think it's about networking with other people, right. learning other ways to do, do things that we think we know. how. There's always more than one way to do something. Absolutely. But we, we be, a lot of times in ministry, we get stuck to one way. Mm -hmm. And we think that way is the right way until you reach out. Yeah. And see other people doing other other ways of uh, um, leading people to Christ and getting people to change their lives. That's right. And I think a stage play is something great, man. I mean, that, I, 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 I can't wait. Thank you so much. And, and the cast, I must say that this is the, a state-of-the-arts cast. These are pastors. They're real, real estate agents. They're entrepreneurs. Um, they have, some of them have been in the business over 20 years, Tony Award nominees. Um, musicians that have played with the best of them. So this isn't this isn't a little fly by night cast. I mean, you some of them you may have heard of, but um, I will promise you that you will hear most of them again. They are awesome from North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia. They're from all over, but they come together for this cause. And I tell you, they put their heart and and everything into what they're doing, and they are. I, I would definitely say that I would put them up against anyone because they are no, they're no little, little Joes. They are big, big <laughs> fish out here. So uh, I can't wait for you to see them. And, and they understand that they understand the mission. They understand the motive for this show. They understand the behind the scenes and what has to be done. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, but they take time out of their schedules to say, you know what? If we can reach one person and save someone, meaning save them from a situation that they may be in going through in their homes. We want to do that. We, we, want, we want to do that. We're going to reach them by any means necessary. Because how can you get someone to even serve Christ and they got the Bruce of home? I, I don't know how that's possible. I mean, but I mean, it, it happens every day. It, it does happen. It does happen every day. And I think that uh, with, with, We'll again target the story first lady sometimes as a first lady they feel like that's 
way the way that they need to be they have to accept anything they can't have a voice they can't you know and and what you have to understand is you're the backbone you're the, the women are the backbone to these men you know true. and that's true I, I don't know what it's like to be in a domestic situation i work with domestic council in charlotte but i don't know what it's actually like to be abused by someone and from what i've seen though I, I just you have to learn to love yourself and sometimes in order to get out of those situations you need these um tools True. this counseling this 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 uh these love groups and these different things that are available to you to be able to get your strength just to, to get out of them. And it may even help you recognize when someone, one of your loved ones, is being in a domestic situation, yeah. not want, not want to come front, come, for, you know, come forward with it. Mm -hmm. You might be able to go come to this plan and see how to recognize when someone else yeah, absolutely. is going through a situation. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it's not, it's so many different forms that it comes in. So it doesn't look the same for this person as it looks for this person. True. But, but you don't know that they're going through the same thing behind closed doors. And sometimes it's not it's not okay for them to come. Who it's just like the pastors. I say the pastors teach and they preach, but who do they who do they go to <laughs> for refuge? Now we can say we can pray all day. We get it, but who do you go to when it's time for you to get help? Everyone needs a go to, and sometimes it's not in the church. We've been led to believe that. What goes on in our house stays in our house. That's not always true. Sometimes what goes in your house needs to be goes on in your house needs to be stopped before it's, it becomes a train wreck. Mm, that's true. And something you just said about where the, where the pastors go to. Yeah. You would be surprised of the phone calls I get from other pastors. Mm -hmm. It's dealing with issues that they are didn't get trained for. Yeah. That yeah. seminary didn't train you for this, and, mm -hmm. and your college education didn't train you for it. Because it don't train you to deal with people, deal with different spirits, and, and, and go through stuff, stuff with us. You, you can't get that kind of training. That's something you have to learn. Absolutely. Hand in hand, I have, I have a pastor, like she said. I, I advise every pastor to get a pastor. I have a pastor. Mm -hmm. A covering. You got to have You got to have it. You can't, you can't walk this walk alone. You got to have a covering. And it's good. Now, you people in Charlotte... Uh, and the High Point Triad area. Y'all come on out and see this play, man. It's going to be great. I'm going to see you there now. I'm going to look for you. <laughs> and it's going to be good. Yeah. I already know. I mean, I already can sense the, 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 uh, the, 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 the energy that's coming from her. We're going to have a ball. We're going to have a good, good time. A lot of people at our shows, they never step a foot in the church. But you know what? This is ministry. We're going to reach them. We, 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 we're going to do our best to reach them. And, and so many, um, we have resources, as I stated. They'll be the, they'll, the help will be there. And you men hadn't had had date night with your wife with your girlfriend right. in a while. <laughs> now you got some clean, some fun to go through. Take a take a woman out for a date Dress night, out, up night out, a night out. Cause I'm gonna be dressed and I'm gonna be there. <laughs> and be a night out, man. Come on out and have some fun. You know, let's, know. let's enjoy it. and come into High Point. Mm -hmm. Who would ever think the High Point would have a live play? Mm -hmm. So come on out and help, and let's help and encourage her to keep on making better plays and making and doing this thing, man. Let's stand by, let's let let let's let High Point in Greensboro be her biggest crowd ever. I want How about that? To be so. I I so want that to be so, and I and I believe we can do it. I can believe we can do it. I've been hanging out in the area, and and I've met so many people, and and it's it's so much fun because they all get behind you and they rally you and they push you, and people don't have to be nice to you. They don't have to be nice to us. But wherever we go, we do. We're welcome with open arms. And again, we're just here to help. This is this is our ministry. You're not going to see us in a pulpit, but you'll definitely see us on a stage. And that's a big, that's a bigger ministry, bigger pulpit we can ever have. Now give us the, the time, and the, I, I think you did it. The time, doors are going to be open. Okay. And the price of the ticket. The everything. doors, uh, is at High Point Theater. That's 222 that West good. Commerce Avenue. And that's here in beautiful High Point, North Carolina. 
and it's going to be at the show starts the doors open at six we do have a pre-show at 6 30 we're going to have um comedian cc foster from florida she's going to be in to make you laugh start the show we're going to have some more performers doing that time from 6 30 to 7 so get there early so you can get comfortable and enjoy our pre-show um, also, again, visit the table, the resource table, so you can take this information back to your to your congregation. If you're a, a, lead, a leader, come get this information so you can take it back. Um, and the show starts promptly at 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. Now, I'm saying that for a reason. 7 o'clock. We have to start at 7 o'clock. Now, you know how church people do. Go ahead now. Let's talk about it for a second. Now, church come people late. come at, uh, you, you sometimes it's fashionably Seven, late, sometimes it's food late. No, 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 no. Eat early. Get dressed early. Seven o'clock because you come in at seven twenty. You're gonna be done miss the most valuable twenty minutes maybe of the show. So you gotta get there at seven o'clock for the kickoff. And um, we will uh, we'll start at seven, and then you'll you know we'll go through the show. You do have an intermission in, in between that time. But um, again, A Lot Entertainment um, on Facebook. All the information is there. I don't know if I hold this flyer. I don't know if you can see it, but this is our flyer. You may have seen it going around on. I, I, um, I added it on my Facebook page. Okay, it is on Pastor's Facebook page. Um, we, we have commercials that are circulating through um, Facebook along with our trailer, so you can see exactly what this show uh, is about. It's really, really a home toucher. So if you can get 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 your tickets, get your tickets now. Don't wait, don't wait to get your tickets, cause I don't know how to, you know that at the door thing. I don't know how it's gonna work. But if you go to highpointtheater.com, the tickets are twenty five dollars for the regular seating, thirty five for VIP. So if you get your tickets early, then you don't have to worry about waiting in line and not getting a ticket when it's time to open the door. So get your tickets early. Sometimes we wait. We don't want to wait. Don't wait. I beg you, do not wait. Go ahead and order your tickets. Highpointtheater.com You heard it. Now, I'm expecting to see you people in the place. See, like how they say, see your face in the place. See, don't meet me there. See, meet me there. Yeah, and, and I, I guarantee you it's going to be fun. Now, if you go to this one, you'll start. You'll be wondering when the next one's going to come. Mm -hmm. You'll mm -hmm. be calling her. When are we going to have the next place? That's right. Point? You know, That's what, right. And, and it's around the area. You and mine travel out. So now you're from Charlotte, man. You ain't but I have a way. <laughs> No, I want to see you guys coming up. We do. Support, now we have a lot of people coming up from girl. Charlotte. I don't want. I don't want Charlotte to show High Point in Greensboro. The Charlotte show now. big. Now they so come now, out. Charlotte coming. They come out. But but we 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 want to we we came to visit High Point in Greensboro and the Triad area. We come to visit you all and we want to see you, meet you, love on you a little bit. That's what we're here for. And that's all right. We want to thank you again for coming, stopping by Pastor Clark. Y'all remember her when y'all see on the big screen. Say, y'all remember that lady when she was on Pastor Clark with a little podcast. Oh. We thank you for it, man. We thank you for coming, taking time out your thank busy you schedule, schedule, making this pit stop back here just to let us know about this play, First Lady. Now, we want to see you guys there. We yes. want to see you come out and support it. I mean, I guarantee you will enjoy it. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, you spend more than that feeding your animal, feeding see, your dog. You see what I'm saying? You, do, you, you, you spend more than that. Doing. Right. Look, we've been locked up for two years. And now it's come out and enjoy it. Come out. Mask up. Come on. Enjoy if you want to wear a mask. Mask up. Come on, that doesn't stop your laughter. There's last, laughter behind the mask. And some of us can use a good laugh after what we've just been going through these last <laughs> That's couple right. years. That's right. It's a blessing just to be alive. So we're going to come and, and, like I say, bring some joy, bring some laughter, true story. And when you see it, your mouth will probably be hanging on because you can't believe it. And with our shows, I say we, we like our audience to get involved. Sometimes you can hear people yelling, you know, Oh my God, and this and that and the other. And we just have to put our disclaimer out right before the show and tell you, hey, you can't come past this point because some parts of this show will make you just want to get up and, 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 and come save somebody. But you can't get up. You can't come across this line. So we, we like the crowd participation. We have a lot of fun at this show, at these shows. So please get your tickets now. Highpointtheater.com. First Lady of the Stage Play. And I'm going to say this in closing. and I hope what I'm getting ready to say is not inappropriate. But it might show some of you women wanting to marry these priests and think one think it's big, big first lady. It might, it might give you a second thought. And let, me say, and let me say this. It's not just the pastor. There's other things going on in this show, too. So we, 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 we target the church and the community. 
We okay. we want to bring our awareness to the church and the community. So it, it is what I tell you, my grandmother used to say everything that glitters is not, not gold. gold. I never understood it, but I get it. I understand it now. And we are going to expose this and we are going to fight this and we are going to help our brothers and sisters that may be experiencing this in their in their lives. Um like you, you mentioned earlier, God says that you may have life more abundantly. It's not the will of God for us to be in situations where we're hurting, where we're struggling like this, and where people are causing us pain. I don't care who it is. But prayer prayer is all good. But get you some resources in your life. Get you someone that you can go, someone that's clinically trained. We like the spiritual trainer, the spiritual trained. But get you someone that's um, clinically trained that can help us talk through some things. You know, I lost my grandmother a couple of years ago, and um, I never knew how important therapy was. I never been to therapy. Never been to therapy. Never need. I never needed that. But I'm so grateful that I had the opportunity to go and sit and talk with um, my counselor because she actually helped me with so much stuff. It brought up so much stuff and it made me a better person. And it made me be made me be able to cope with certain situations. Um so I encourage you. It, it it's it's good. The resources are here for us. They're here for everyone. They're not just here for um a person on this of this status, a person of that status. It's here for everyone. And if we can do anything here at Alon Entertainment to help you get the help that you need, get you the resources we are here to help you. We're going to make you laugh, but we are definitely, our ultimate goal is to get you the help that you need. You know, I was told one time the problem isn't needing help. The problem is needing help and not asking for help. Yeah. That's going to become a major problem. When you need help and not too proud for it, too whatever, too ashamed or whatever to ask for help. But you things can be all in, well. In a, situ- in a situation that you know ain't healthy. Mm-hmm. But you are the significant other. So it's time that, that we can see this kind of real life stuff instead of cut off your uh, Netflix and all that other stuff and come and see some real life stuff and some real life things that happens mm-hmm. every day. Oh, yes. Oh, and I yes. guarantee you it will be a blessing to you to come out and support and and, and this something to do, man. I mean, I can't wait. All right, for now, we love date nights. You know, we know we we older, but we stay out. We stay out there. Y'all see, them see date nights there. keep you off the stage and keep yeah. you out of these kind of shows. Get you a date night. Yeah. <laughs> I love date night too. So they, they, these are the kind of things that keep you look, keep you kind of grounded, keep you keep you together, keep you off off of the first lady stage and things like that. But That's true. We love. Look, we it's about love. It's all about love, mm-hmm. and first lady is going to display love, and it's it's a lot of emotions, but ultimately we just want to make sure we're here to um, minister what God has given us to. Mm, that's okay. I'm all up for it now. Before I, now, now, you know, I want you to have no excuse. Now, give them a time and place again. Okay. I don't, they don't need to hear this. Write high it down. High Point High Point Theater in High Point, North Carolina, two twenty two West Commerce. Is it Avenue or Street? Street. Street at West Commerce Street. Downtown High Downtown Point. Downtown High Point. Beautiful High Point. And um, the show starts, the doors open at 6. The pre-show starts at 6.30. The show starts promptly at 7. If you get there at 7.01, you have missed a minute of the show. Um, so it is, it is going to be a night to remember. Again, you can reach us at alonentertainment.com is our website. Um, on our Facebook page is Alon Entertainment as well as Alon Entertainment on Instagram. Um, our email, Alondria, I mean, I'm sorry, Alon Entertainment 21 at Gmail is our email address. Feel free to reach out to us. Any questions that you have, any concerns, we are here to help. Hey Amen. So I guess we said it all. Um, thank you, uh, Alondra, for thank you. stopping by and thank yes. for this one to share this place, share your heart with us. and. We just thank you. We got a couple. You got your sister with you and niece. Yeah, I think. my sister and my niece. My they sister, she's go. like my um, I think she's like my my. She's like we're we're a day apart, four years and a day apart. Okay. Four years and one day, but I, I she's like my, I I, I just need her all the time. <laughs> I know, you know all that. <laughs> like yeah. all the time. Like she's the sister. I call her like thirty times a day. Okay. For anything. It's good to have so somebody like that. She, you trust my, and my family. You. My family does a lot. Yeah, that's um, all my right. My family is very involved in this production. That's all right. Again, I want to thank you here at Across the Desk for stopping by. 
We look forward to the play. We look forward to sitting down with you on your next play. You know, telling us about your next play, where it's going to be. We're going to rally behind you. You know, we, we, I have a um, Pastor Clark Entertainment Group as well. You know, we're not partnering with her, but we are supporting what she's doing. Yeah, yeah, and if we, we look, we have a new show coming out next year. And so um, we never knew. It's funny because we tour, like I say, all over the country. We had never seen this place. And so we're excited about High Point Theater. Um, okay. They've showed us a lot of love there. And we are going to, we'll be back. But I don't know when, so you might as well come nah, back. We now we show out. up, show out, show up good. She'll be back yeah. soon. If you show up and show out good, we'll I'll be come back, back soon. Real, real soon. We could, You can count on that. If, if you <laughs> show me that I need to come back, I'm going to come back. <laughs> and let's do it, y'all. We can do it. We, we rally, we get out rally behind everything that's rally behind something positive, something that's good, something that's going to help us in life. Yes. Again, Alana, I want to thank you for coming thank to you across so just five o'clock. You know, wish you well and thank you your so endeavors, much. and I pray that this plan, which I know it's going to go well. I'm not Amen. even concerned with it, but I know this. Let's do it, y'all. Let's get out and show support. Let's get out and do it. Everything will be well. Thank you, and may God bless you and thank help you. smile upon you. Bye, bye, y'all.